you can't really understand Latin American politics in general and the ongoing instabilities and difficulties that almost every country in South America is still plagued by without talking about the central role that the United States has continuously played for decades in trying to control that part of the hemisphere. Um, in Brazil, like in so many countries, they had a democratically elected government um, in the early 1960s, which the United States disliked because it was a left-wing government, um, not a communist government, but a, a left-wing government that was devoted to the distribution of wealth for the social welfare, for opposing United States capitalistic interests um, and attempts to interfere in Brazil. Um, and the Brazilian military in 1964 staged a coup um, that overthrew that democratically elected government and proceeded to impose on Brazil a really brutal um, military dictatorship that served the interests of the United States, was allied to the United States for the next 21 years. Of course, at the time, the United States government, U.S. officials before Congress and in the public eye, vehemently denied that they played any role in that coup. And has happened so many times in the past, documents ultimately emerged years later that showed that not only was the U.S. supportive of that coup, but played a direct role in helping to plot it and plan it and stage it and then prop up that dictatorship for 21 years. That dictatorship um, used very extreme torture techniques um, on the nation's dissidents, on the Brazilian citizens who were working to undermine that right-wing military dictatorship, among whom was the current president, Dilma Rousseff, who in the 1970s um, was a guerrilla, essentially, working against the U.S.-supported military dictatorship. She was detained and imprisoned without trial um, and then tortured rather severely. Um, and the documents have, have revealed that it was the U.S. and the U.K. Um, that actually taught the uh, military leaders um, the best types of torture techniques to use. And so what you have now is not really a repeat of the 1964 coup. It's not really responsible to say it's identical to what's taking place because the impeachment against Dilma is proceeding under the Constitution, which actually does provide for impeachment. There's a an independent judiciary that's involved in the proceedings. But at the same time, if you go back and look at what happened in 1964 with that coup, the leading media outlets in Brazil that also hated the left-wing government because it was against their oligarchical interests um, justified and supported that coup. They depicted it as necessary to uproot corruption in this left-wing government. You had the same media factions, Globo and the, the families who own it, um, and other media outlets that still persist to today, um, agitating in favor of the coup and then ultimately supporting the military dictatorship. And so you have similarities um, in terms of the anti-democratic processes at work um, that prevailed in 1964 and throughout Latin America and so many other um, years where the United States was, was at the center of. Um,